So now we're just leaving Siao Island. You can see Karangatang behind me here. We were up there yesterday. Uh, we're now heading to Tulangdang Island, which is right next door to volcano number six, Ruang Volcano. Welcome to the Barcelona 2, the upgraded model Barcelona 2. This one actually has live rafts. So we're not too far away from Tuha Landang Island. It's been a very smooth sailing, unlike the uh, storm we encountered from. Manado to Karangatang. Uh, once we land, uh, we'll be staying the night at a local homestay. Uh, there is no hotels, virtually no accommodation on this island as they do not get tourists. Uh, it's a very remote island um, and a lot of the uh, houses have been uh, severely damaged from the recent eruption. So instead of waiting for uh, this boat to move, we've just pulled up beside it, and I assume they're going to be putting a gangway between the two. So, in order for us to offload, we need to walk from our boat to that boat and then on to the wharf. Unbelievable. Just walking on now. <laughs> well, straight down there. Now we're on the other boat. <laughs> so we're finally here on Tuhu Langdang Island. <laughs> it's just absolute chaos. No, this is our transport. Similar to Seo Island. Oh gosh. Good morning from Tuhe Landang Island. It's a uh, beautiful morning here. So the plan for now is that we're going to head back to the port and we're going to hopefully, if all goes well, find or at least persuade uh, a local fisherman to take us across to Ruang Island. Behind me here is Ruang Volcano. On April 16th, this volcano erupted in spectacular fashion. And then on April 30th, a second eruption uh, occurred. Radio, so with that, uh, Managed to find a local fisherman. Good news, it's gonna take us over there. I am a bit nervous about the swell out there. Uh, it's uh, really quite sketchy uh, in this small boat. Anyway, it is what it is. So we're gonna head out there now and uh, try and make it over. Now we are heading to Ruang, we are sailing to Ruang, and then now we can see like something very extremely changed, you know, than before. In uh, February, and then after that, on 21st April, 24th, and then also 25th in April, that was Europe with the uh, paroxysmal eruptions. And then finally, the last, you know, was in the 30, that was one of the biggest eruptions ever in the North Sulawesi, which is this uh, type of Pinian. Yeah, and then uh, lots of the Paracas bombs ejected even very far away, three kilometer, four kilometer hit the roof of the local people there in the Tagulandang area. So now we're going to see this, what's happened now, and then we're going to make expedition to climb up. So we've just uh, landed now on Ruang Island and uh, this place is an absolute apocalyptic wasteland. Awesome. 
Wow, look at the uh, roof of that building. It's just been absolutely shredded. If you ever want to know what a pyroclastic flow can do, the power, this is uh, the outcome. To think this uh, village would have been a hive of activity with scooters up and down the road here and now it lies silent. People's houses here, old TV there, just left abandoned. Just absolute carnage here. Now we are going to make the climb to the top of Ruang. So we're just climbing up the flank of Mount Ruang volcano. It's uh, super hot here, zero shelter. And uh, where I'm walking now, only six months ago would have been a lush jungle and rainforest. It's just hard to believe. This is called Gabru, so that means this is from Mavic Ultra Basalt Magma, which is actually this is uh, cools and solidified inside, you know, it's like underneath three until five kilometers, you know. So here we can see like a very uh, crystal, which is very clear, yeah. This is from the the shiny this one this is pyroxene and then plagioclase and magnesium so that's mean so this is from the ultra basalt you know magma which is deep so this is called plutonic yeah and then normally it's very rare to see like this except you know if you if you see in the very explosive volcano like ruang like this Well, this has become so sketchy now, it's so damn steep. We're all on all fours trying to get to the top. Goodness knows how we're going to get back down. The true summit of Ruang post eruption. Wow, look at that, what a spot. So now uh, I'm in the rim of the, you know, Ruang Vulcano, in the crater of the uh, Ruang Vulcano. And then amazing, which is now we can see some, uh, you know, geological stuff, which is, we can see now the guy over there. So I think it's from the last eruption, which is, you know, with the VEI4, and then also with Kinian eruption, you know, paroxysmal eruption, which is so loud and you know, with high detonation. And now we the dark, so that's why the eruption is very, very you know, explosive when the magma contact with the fluid inside there. So it must be with the groundwater, and the magma contact directly, you know, in the inside of the ruang. And then we can see here, this is uh, the dike, like you know, like raising up like this, and over there also there's another dike, which is you know, butt plug. So the dike, I think, go through here and then uh, explode, and then you know, blown away all the material until the Tangulandang Islands. So it is amazing.
finally, I have made it to the top of Ruang Volcano. It's been a huge climb just to get here, incredibly steep. One of the very, very few people that have uh, made it here post eruption. So this marks the last volcano conquered on this Indonesian expedition 2024. So we've conquered six incredible volcanoes on this expedition. Liwatobi, Liwatolik, Egon, Lokon, Karangatang, and lastly, Luang. Uh, it's been an incredible adventure. We've done some amazing things. We've done some world firsts. We've been to places where nobody else has been. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to Andy. Thank you to the hundreds and hundreds of people uh, that have been involved to help make these expeditions possible. So if you like this video, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Please comment and uh, we'll see you on the next expedition.